I'm here with Tim Lussier, President of Student Government, recently re-elected. What have you done for this year already, and what do you plan to do for the future? This year we've uh, tried to do a lot more uh, activities on campus. Uh, we've had a, you know, a dance, a, uh, um, a couple more barbecues, and a, a lot more fun things like that. Um, but we've really concentrated on going down to Salem and meeting our legislators and lobbying so that we can keep tuition low. Um, and, and next year, I think it's going to be a little bit of the same. We're going to have another legislative session for about a month. Uh, so we're going to meet with our legislators and represent students uh, t you know, to, to all of our legislators who make big decisions. But as well on campus, we're going to do a lot of great things like that. Right now we're in the, in the decision and, and kind of uh, the, the first phase of deciding whether or not we can have a lounge room where students can come and, and find a place to hang out, maybe play some arcade games or ping pong or pool. And, and so that would be an exciting thing to, to bring back to campus, uh, allowing students to uh, uh, you know, relax in between classes. But you know, b besides that, we, we're, you know, we're, we're deciding what, uh, what things we might be able to do. You had some issues with the uh, smokers out front. Uh, what do you plan to do about that? Uh, I don't know if I've had any issues with the smokers, but I know that students have come to student government as well as uh, it's a pretty common issue of the 25-foot rule uh, not being enforced or not being uh, obeyed. Uh, so it's kind of an ongoing thing, and uh, I've talked with Bill Leach, who is the campus uh, services dean, um, and he's uh, created a task force to address the smoking issue. So it's a matter of protecting students' rights to smoke, which is you know is something that students, if they want an education, they're allowed to smoke in between classes. Um, but they we need to balance that with uh, you know not harming students who want to just walk through the walk through the way you know walk through the the hall or or, or the uh, to get to the door. To, uh, to go to their class and, and you know it's a harm if you have to breathe smoke on your way in. You do realize that the ashtrays are right in front of the doorway. Do you think that might have a conflict of why they probably smoke right in front of the door instead of having the 20 feet, 5 feet away kind of deal? Or uh, I don't think it's a matter of the ashtrays right in front of the door. I think it's a matter of people wanting to stay you know where it's comfortable. Um, you know, under the awnings, you know, out of the rain is usually the biggest issue. Um, but, you know, I think people see the signs that say, please, you know, or, or, or don't smoke within 25 feet. Whether or not we need to move the ashtrays, I don't know if that's the biggest problem, but it's something we could try. Do you think you've learned anything over the time frame of you being a president last year and re-elected this year? Yeah, I mean, people, people see the president as, you know, the top person. They, they you know, they see him as, as uh, you know, kind of a, uh, I guess, a, I, you know, usually you see the president and they're the spokesman of the organization, but, uh, you know, there's so much work that goes into, you know, being involved. Um, and being the president is supporting your group. And, and I think I've learned most about how to work with people and how to work for people. Um, you know, a president doesn't only just lead an organization and say, this is what we should do. The president instead asks the questions and guides the members. And, and that's what I've learned. I've learned how to work with our, we have about 15 student leaders that uh, you know, are in our organization. And I've learned how to help them uh, in their roles and in their jobs. And uh, I think that's, you know, one of the greatest things that I've learned. Okay. So uh, do you think that being president of uh, ASG um, actually would help you towards any future that you may want to get into? Yeah, I think, uh, I think anything in you know, our student leadership, any position, uh, just like being on the, the print or you know, being in a sports team, anything that you, you, know, you go out of your way to, to strive at something, I think that'll, that, that will help you. Uh, you know, or whatever, if I want to run for office one day, you know, it's, all, it's all learning and it's all experience that helps you get there. So yeah, I think it will. All right, thank you very much, Tim Lussier. Thank you. Congratulations on your re-election. That was my interview with the re-elected Associate Student Government President, Tim Lussier. I got to speak with him a few minutes after the interview, and he pointed out to a couple of areas that he had in mind for the lounge video game room. Once again, like he said, we are not able to figure out what time frame this is going to be in effect, but he is working on it, as, so we're going to have to play it by ear. I'm Chris Anderson for Clackamas News Online, signing off.